Yo, yo, it's your boy, Lion. Nah, here we go. Uh, drive for the traction loss is now set up. We've got our two idlers here, tie down points, and from that 50 ratio to one um, belt pulley, that's gonna allow this to shift right then shift left hopefully that uh, works out all right but I do have a problem because this was an overlook again because these two linear rails as this slides one direction does not remain in a single plane that belt is slightly expanding over that five degree swing um, there's enough flexibility in the system where I don't think it's going to be an issue, but you can see here how a belt's pretty sloppy, but if you go to one extreme, it tightens up because of that, uh, slight distance difference. Um, so either a spring tensioner on both sides with a, a very stiff linear spring to pick up the slack. Um, maybe a slider mechanism here. Ultimately, this is probably going to be replaced with a pitman arm and some type of uh, rigid um, wiper system like you'd have on a, a, a vehicle. But that was a lot of work, and I'll we'll see if it works before I redo it. And that's where uh, things are going now. So the box has been completely dewired and we're up here so I don't ruin my back up on the table all the whites are installed still going to be about a 25 amp system in total um, so this one contactor still should be able to provide enough throughput to uh, turn all these servos on four of them being 400 watts the others 750 We'll have two uh, Thanos controllers slaved up together and I'm going to really put the time to clean up this rat's nest of stuff. Uh, distribution boxes for most of the power now. Um, still going to keep this drive for the traction loss control and the Arduino driver because this needs to work off of torque control and the Thanos controller I don't think can do that I gotta look into it a little more but this is more position for the AST so that's gonna be the goal for the weekend get this wired up and rerunning later <laughs>